What's up, gamers? Um, so in this video, we will <clears throat> be creating the Undertale intro, like ensembles and stuff. Yeah, and also there was um a comment here that said also instead of converting the code into D and D. You could have used the function room go to room. So I thought that was pretty useful. So we're going to go to our object and change the room. Oh, change room. <clears throat> and then we're just going to delete that. And say, okay, we're going to convert this to GMO. And I'm going to be like, okay. And then, here, hold on, let me see what it is. We're just going to say room go to. Underscore room. I think that's what we named it. No, I just called it go to. And that should act the same way. <clears throat> Sorry, I haven't posted and stuff for like a couple of months. Not a couple of months, for like a month because like I, um, I, it just, um, I'll explain it. Um, it's because my gaming subscription got deleted because um, and, and I just have to buy another one. So sorry about that. And here's our nice guy. Cool. Okay. So what we have to do first is we have to. Here, I will leave the link in the description. And I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So I downloaded a zip file called Organized, and then I extracted it, and um, then I got this folder. This folder was provided by a guy named Ricky G. He's currently working on a game I think called Doodlebox. Doodlebook. I I'm not sure, but it looks pretty cool. You should go check him out. Link in the description. Um, so what we have to do is go to, um, I think we have to go to cutscene. Yeah, here we go. And then it has a bunch of these images, and I'm just going to grab a random one, like this one, and this one, and this one, and those are the only three I'm going to take, and I'm just going to drag all three of them into the game. <clears throat> okay, so now when I'm in them, here, this will be, here, let's rename all of them to, oh, whoops, sorry guys, oh, um, well, no, we'll just rename this one to S intro image one, this will be S Intro image image two. This will be S intro image three, and that's it. Okay. Now for intro image one, we're gonna edit image, and then we're gonna click the text, and then we're gonna type in some stuff. You uh need the system font, which might be pre-installed on Windows. Nope, it's not anymore. It used to be okay. So, what you need to do is look up Undertale font. You go to Undertale font, um, and then. You will see So you have to click this, I think. And then download here. And then you'll get this. What the heck is this? 
Okay. Yeah, let's not do that. That's probably a virus. Uh, <clears throat> okay, determination. And now click download on determination. And then you'll get determination zip. And then you have mono and sans. Um, let's just get mono. And uh, it should download. And sans. They look the exact same. Wait, mono pen or might be mono? Okay, stop it. Um, <clears throat> so once we have that demo, just click yes here. And then you can go find determination. Because we just downloaded a thing called determination. Well, it's actually called determination mono or determination sans if you download it, determination sans. Um, but they're pretty much the same thing. Um, so let's type it here. So, um, once there was a cow named Bob the Builder. And then, I'm say, that's it actually. That's all I'm gonna say. And then I'm gonna say commit tool changes. And then yeah. the reason why that came up is because I clicked the selection tool. Um, you can do that too. Um, you should also get the color picker. Pick this guy. Um, and I'm gonna change his hammer to like a different to like a hammer because he's Bob the Builder now. Um, and then just color all that in. That, that's good. <laughs> okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click Control C and Control V on this frame. And now we have another one. And then... So what we're gonna do is on the second frame, we're gonna get black and color in that period. With a coloring tool, I guess. And then control C, control V. Color in that one. Control C, control V. Wait, what's happening? Control Z. Okay, so I did that wrong. Um, Control C. And then Control V. And that's all I'm gonna do. Even though it'll look weird that only builder is spelled, but eh. I don't want to spend my whole time doing this. So let's drag this to the end. So, whoops, I didn't show you what I did. So, what you have to do is you have to put the second to last frame at the end, and then the other frame to 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 the end. The other frame to the end, and the other frame to the end. See how that works. This should be the first thing. Whoops, I did it wrong. Sorry, guys. I do it wrong. So it's okay.
Como que é a outra mulher? Um. And then this could just say Bob. And then actually now you know what? We're gonna turn off anti aliasing so I can finally color it. Commit tool changes, yes. Now we can fill it in with black. Good, finally. Now I can put control C, control V. Fill in this thing. Control C, control V. Fill in this thing. Okay, good. Now put this here and put this here. So now it looks like it's typing. Blah. Oh wait, we forgot the Bob. Control C, Control V. On this, we're just gonna put B. Oh wait, it has to be white, so B. It doesn't have to be white, but like, you know. And then, yeah. You can do the third intro image if you want, but. I'll show you what I'm going to do soon. I'm going to create a new object called O intro. And then I'm going to set it to be as intro image. And then I'm going to add event. And then I'm going to say other animation end. Um, then I'm gonna say if sprite index equals s intro image one, then sprite index equals s intro image two. Good enough. So, what this is doing is it's saying at the animation end, when its animation ends, um, if its sprite index equals two, so basically if it's um, if this object has a sprite of s image one, set it to s intro image two. So uh, basically, what it's gonna do is it's just gonna change the intro image, and then actually we should make these like a lot slower. Let's make these like seven point five. I don't know. Um, seven point five. Okay. So now, when we go to room, no, let's we'll create a new room. We'll call it room intro, and then we'll drag it before all of these, and then um, we're gonna drag an O intro, and it looks really small. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this to width to 320 by 240. Actually, no, I think that's too much. Actually, no, that's right. Um, see, it kind of looks like it already. Um, and we're going to go to viewports and cameras, and then click enable viewports. Go to viewport zero, and click visible. We did a close thing like this before. Um, they're turning by 240. They're doing it by 240. They're doing it by 240. Okay. Uh, my hair is bad, sorry. But 640 by 480. I think it is. And then we can just click play and see what happens. Um,. Oh yeah, Builder, Bob, 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 Bob. Did you see that? Okay, I'll show you it again. That looked actually really cool. Well, Builder, Bob, 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 Bob. And then I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm actually gonna create another image because that was really fun. I'm gonna turn off anti-aliasing like I did before. And then I'm just gonna say, I am a cool guy. 
and then yes, and then I'm gonna give her angry eyes, and she's like, bruh, and he's like, and she's like, my eyes are closed for the whole entire game. Wait, is that Chris or is that Chris? Is that Chris? Is that Chris? Uh, okay. Um. So what we're gonna do is click Control V. Uh, fill tool black. Um, click this. Click that. Control C, Control V. Click that. And that's all I'm gonna do. We're gonna bring the list all the way. Beginning. Where it belongs. This here. This here. This here. This here. This here. This here. So, but what I'm basically doing is just changing all the things backwards. Sorry if this is really hard to follow along. But, um. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, what I'm basically doing is just taking the end and dragging it to the bottom. So I'm just making it go backwards. If that makes sense. I'm sorry if it doesn't. Um, now we can go to room intro. No, O intro. And go to, um, else if sprite index equals s intro image 2 then sprite index equals s intro image 3 so I'm just using an else if that's saying else if if it's not S intro image one and its sprite and its S uh, S intro image two, then set it to this. Now, intro intro that should be good. Let's play it. Let's see what happens. Okay, once there was a cabin, but. I am a cool guy. 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 Yeah, I really like that. That's really fun. So that's pretty much all I'm going to do in this video. We did create a pretty good intro. It doesn't have any transitions in that. It kind of does. It doesn't have like that smooth little fade like it normally does. But like, I'm happy with it. I'm a cool guy. I'm a cool guy. I'm a cool guy. I'm a cool guy. It's Taco. Please hit subscribe or else you'll see the sky in your nightmares. So.